Hey everybody, I am out on uh, Vancouver's city streets. There you go. Uh, and in these areas, death cap mushrooms may decide to grow. So they like grassy little sidewalk areas like this. Um, and if you do find them, you want to correctly identify them first to make sure you're not destroying other fungi that can be helpful to trees and animals in the urban environment. Um, so once you've identified them, um, they have a distinctive uh, ball, sort of a, a cup formation at the base of the stem. So you, if you dig the mushroom out, you'll see that cup um, it has, has a stem. It has a uh, ring around that stem, a skirt-like ring frequently, unless it gets older, in which case this, the ring can disappear. Um, and the cap, it can be white, yellow, olivish, uh, it always has white gills and has a white spore print. So if all of those features are sort of coming into play, then you probably have a death cap, in which case you want to dispose of it. So you want to throw that in the garbage. Um, you can use gloves to exhume them, so take them out from the base. And um, if you, if, but you can touch them, it's fine to touch them. You just want to wash your hands with soap and water afterwards, not hand san sanitizer because hand sanitizer um, has alcohol in it. So that can transfer toxins through the skin. So uh, for death cap mushrooms in areas where kids or pets might come into contact with them, you just want to dispose of them. They are an invasive species, so, um, so it's fine to do that. Yeah, so just, you know, it's just another, um, you know, lovely little fungi out there to get to know. And it's important to know your, or learn your poisonous mushrooms first, correct? Yeah. If you want to learn more about edible and poisonous mushrooms in the Lower Mainland, come out on a mushroom foraging tour with me, swallowtail.ca, or uh, join our online uh, mushroom intensive programs, which we've just set up this year. More information about that is in the notes.